What's up guys, my name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you the best method that I used to use in order to get the lowest input delay on Fortnite Season 2. If you want to get lower input delay guys, I recommend you to do what I'm gonna do on this video because I'm 100% sure this will help you. Currently, I'm not gonna lie, I've been experiencing a lot of input delay, but with this pack, I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna feel it anymore. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and close Fortnite. Okay guys, so once over here, as you can see, this is the pack that we're gonna use for this video. If you open the pack, as you can see, we're gonna have four simple steps that we need to follow in order to get the lowest input delay on Fortnite. So what we're gonna do now is change some settings on Windows that will help you getting the lowest input delay possible. So what we're gonna do now is go to the Windows bottom. Now we're here what we're gonna do is type mouse. Now click on additional mouse options and once over here as you can see we're gonna open the mouse properties. Now click on pointer options and as you can see here we have a lot of settings. The first one is the most important and what you're gonna do is only deactivate the enhanced pointer precision. Usually you have active this, choose deactivate apply and okay that's all that will help you a lot getting the lowest input delay on your mouse so make sure to have the enhanced point of precision deactivate now for the next settings what we're gonna do is deactivate all the startups that you have for this what you're gonna do is only go to the tax bar and click right once over here open the tax manager and as you can see here is the tax manager click on startups and as you can see here we have a lot of startups that you used to use and you don't know if you want to deactivate this just click on any one that you don't want to have active for example i don't want to have this ccx process just click right and click on disable what i'm gonna do is do the same for the apps that i don't use and that's it now i can close this tax manager okay and the last settings that you need to change on windows is update your graphic drivers if you don't know how to update your graphic drivers i recommend you to watch the video that i made a couple days ago about the best fps booster that app will help you getting the most recent drivers no matter if you have amd intel or nvidia graphic card on my case i have nvidia so the only way that i know to update my graphic drivers is go to the g4 experience and once over here just click on drivers once over here as you can see we will have the most recent drivers on this case is the 531.2 29 that was released a couple days ago once you download the drivers what you're gonna do is only click on express installation and the drivers will start to install on my case i'm not gonna do it for now because i'm recording a video and i don't want to end the record just to update my drivers okay so now is the time to use the best input delay reducer pack it's really simple just open this up and as you can see we will have four simple steps if you don't have the pack what you're gonna do is go to the link on the description and you will have the link of my website where you can download the pack that we're gonna use for this video all right so as you can see here is my website it's really simple to use just go to this post which is the one that we're gonna use or if you are not able to find just go straight to the recent post as you can see this is the recent post and if there is no way that you can find it what you're gonna do is only copy the title of this video and just click on the search bar and paste the title of this video click on enter and as you can see here you will find the post that we're gonna use on this video which is really simple to find and guys just to let you know my website has ads so you will see these ads as you can see here but don't worry they are not gonna do nothing and if you click on anywhere as you can see you will have a pop-up this pop-up will not be annoying so don't worry once you have this pop-up just close it and remember just get straight into my post scroll down and click on the dollar button if you receive another pop-up please close this out and click again into the bottom as you can see you will get directed to drive make sure to download the pack through drive because it's the way that we're gonna use to download the pack once over here make sure you are here click on the download button and as you can see it will start to download the pack that we're gonna use for this video all right so once you download the pack remember to extract here and you will have this folder once you open the folder as you can see there is the four simple steps that we're gonna do right now for this just first start with the batch optimization this will clean the kachi also delete temporary files that will help you getting better input delay it's really simple just run this as an administrator click on yes and once this finished as you can see you will be able to press any key and this will close automatically so what you're gonna do is activate all of them which is are actually really quick okay once you finish the batch optimization go back and what you're gonna do is go to input delay commands and tweaks just open this folder and as you can see what we're gonna do now is activate all these commands what you can do is only double click on it click on yes yes and okay that simple what we're gonna do is do the same for all of them 
and now we need to open the zero pin command for this just open this text and as you can see here we'll have some commands that we're gonna use in order to get lower pin if you want to use this command choose open command prompt run this as an administrator so the change will be better and once over here as you can see what you're gonna do is only copy the commands that you will use and paste in the command prompt the first will be flush dns then we're gonna use register dns now we're gonna use ipconfig release and then we're gonna use ipconfig renew and now we're gonna use the winsock reset just paste the command and as you can see now it's finished but remember that you must restart your pc in order to complete all this reset that we did on this command prompt so you can close now remember that later you need to restart in order to get these changes done now what we're gonna do is go to the next folder which is the pin tweaks choose open this folder and activate all of these tweaks and as you can see we finished the pin tweaks actually it was real quick but what we're gonna do now is go to the timer resolution folder because we're gonna use the best app on my opinion to reduce the input delay open the timer resolution now run timer resolution and as you can see my timer resolution is correctly set it if i click on maximum the current resolution will be 0 0.500 and if i click on default current resolution will be 1000 you must have the right settings like me if you want to get the lowest input delay possible if you have different numbers over here that's mean that you have bad configured the timer resolution if you want to fix this it's really simple go to the same folder that you will have timer resolution and open this notepad that says input delay fix commands choose open this and what you're gonna do is put these commands in the command prompt what you're gonna do is copy the command and paste it in the command prompt okay so once you put all the commands as you can see here what you're gonna do is close command prompt close the notepad and what i recommend you guys is ping the attacks bar the timer resolution once you finish with this i recommend you to restart your pc and remember that once you open fortnite run timer resolution and click on maximum so what i'm gonna do now that we finish the pack and also the optimization i'm gonna restart my pc and i'm gonna go straight to fortnite okay guys so now i open fortnite remember to restart your pc before you open fortnite so you can have the lowest input delay possible so what i'm gonna do now is choose play a couple matches on creative and let's see how this goes Okay guys, so as you see on that match, I was getting between 90 to 100 ping, but I was even able to do really crazy edit, even though that I'm having a really insane ping. This is why I recommend you guys to do this input delay optimization, because this will help you getting the lowest input delay on Fortnite. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Slappy, and I see you soon. Bye bye.